um, I'm very thankful and <laughs> I'm very honored for this award and I don't want to make a long speech, I'm just, thank you very much. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the iconic world of Michael Jackson and the story behind one of his most famous songs, Billie Jean. From the inspiration behind the lyrics to the groundbreaking music video, we'll take a look at the story and cultural impact of this timeless classic. The song was written and produced by Jackson himself, and was released as the second single from his sixth studio album, Thriller, in 1983. At the time, Jackson was already a huge star, but Billie Jean would take his fame to new heights. The song went on to reach the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Jackson's fastest rising single since ABC and I'll Be There in 1970. Meaning Behind the Lyrics The famous story behind the song Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, which tells of an obsessed woman stalking the king of pop and claiming that he is the father of her son, has been circulating for many years. However, Jackson himself consistently denied the story and maintained that Billie Jean was not based on a specific person or event, but rather, was a fictional character representing the numerous groupies that he and his brothers had encountered throughout their career. He stated that the song was inspired by the many stories he heard of people claiming to be the mothers of his children, and the impact that these false claims had on his life. Despite the persistent rumors and speculation, Jackson maintained that Billie Jean was a work of fiction, and not a true story. Unfortunately, Michael Jackson died in 2009, and the true meaning behind the song remains a topic of much debate and speculation. In his 1988 autobiography, Moonwalk, Jackson says, there never was a real Billie Jean. The girl in the song is a composite of people my brothers have been plagued with over the years. I could never understand how these girls could say they were carrying someone's child when it wasn't true. Jackson's biographer told a different story in his 1991 book, The Magic and the Madness. In it, he says that Billie Jean was inspired by real letters the singer received in 1981 from a woman claiming he was the father of her twins. Despite no reaction from Jackson, the woman continually sent letters before eventually escalating to sending a gun and a murder threat, talk about a die-hard fan. Breaking the MTV Color Barrier the music video for Billie Jean was a groundbreaking moment in the history of pop music. Directed by Steve Barron, the video featured Jackson's signature dance move, which would become one of the most famous dance moves in the world. The video also showcased Jackson's incredible stage presence and charisma, which helped to make the song even more popular. The video was shot in a downtown Los Angeles street, with Michael dancing on a car park, showcasing his incredible moves and style. The video helped to cement Michael's status as the king of pop, and it remains one of the most iconic music videos of all time. The accompanying video for the song is often credited with breaking the color barrier on MTV. While a clip from reggae band musical Youth 4 Pass the Duchy was the first video from a black act to make waves on the network, they were largely considered a novelty, with no member being older than 16. After the Oso 80s video for Billie Jean debuted and was well received, more black artists began appearing on the network soon after, most notably Prince. MTV was widely accused of racism during the era after Rick James' funky hit Super Freak was rejected. With the added barrier of record companies not investing in videos for black artists, thinking MTV wouldn't play them, many black musicians struggled to gain airtime. All of that went out the window with Billie Jean, as Jackson paved the way for more black artists to be featured on the taste-making network. Compared to Michael A. MTV staples like REO Speedwagon and Journey suddenly looked even more boring, Rob Tannenbaum, co-author of I Want My MTV, the uncensored story of the music video revolution said. When Michael's videos created higher ratings for MTV, network executives claimed they'd learned a lesson and tentatively embraced the softer side of black pop music, especially Lionel Richie. Moonwalk Jackson's 1983 Motown 25, Yesterday, Today, Forever performance marked the first time Billie Jean was performed live. The performance also marked the first time Jackson appeared to walk on air in his signature moonwalk. The unsuspected move wowed the audience and lead to its use in almost all future performances. Adding to the image-making performance, it was also the first time Jackson wore his iconic single white glove. Success the song Billie Jean by Michael Jackson was an undeniable success, reaching the top of the charts in numerous countries and earning a Grammy nomination. 
It remained at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 for an impressive seven weeks, and sold over 5 million copies in the United States alone. This impressive performance solidified the song's place as one of the most popular and enduring hits of the 1980s, and cemented Jackson's status as one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Jackson's electrifying performances of Billie Jean on his tours were a major draw for audiences, and the song quickly became a staple of his live shows. He performed the song on several high-profile occasions, including the MTV Video Music Awards, the Motown 25th Anniversary Special, and the Victory Tour. The song was also included in the setlists for many of his other tours, such as the Bad World Tour, the Dangerous World Tour, and the History World Tour, ensuring that generations of fans had the opportunity to see him perform the song live. The enduring popularity of Billie Jean has also led to it being covered and performed by other artists. The song's catchy beat and memorable lyrics have made it a favorite for musicians in various genres, and it continues to be a popular choice for cover songs and medleys. Even today, Billie Jean is often performed at music festivals, concerts, and other events, and it remains one of Michael Jackson's most beloved and iconic songs. Michael Jackson's Billie Jean is more than just a hit song, it's a cultural touchstone that continues to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. The song has been covered by several artists, including Chris Brown, Beyoncé, and Justin Timberlake. Thriller While disco was steadily dying, Jackson moved in a new musical direction, opting for a mix of pop, rock, and funk on his sixth studio album, Thriller. He also moved towards darker themes in his music, like the paranoia and obsession motifs in Billie Jean. Thriller was Jackson's first number one on the US Billboard Top LPs and Tapes chart, where he spent 37 non-consecutive weeks at the top sport. Along with Billie Jean, seven other singles from the album reached the top 10 including The Girl Is Mine, Beat It, Wanna Be Startin' Something, Human Nature, PYT, and Thriller. After his performance at Motown 25, sales for the album skyrocketed, selling 1 million copies worldwide per week. By the end of 1983, 32 million copies of Thriller were sold, making it the best-selling album of all time. And there you have it, the story behind Michael Jackson's hit song Billie Jean. From the personal inspiration behind the lyrics, to the groundbreaking music video, this song has left an indelible mark on music history. It's a testament to Michael Jackson's artistry and the timeless appeal of his music. We hope you enjoyed learning more about this iconic song and the story behind it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. And as always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on Billie Jean in the comments below. Thanks for watching.